One thing is, Darren is extremely photogenic. Uh-huh. Very handsome, man. I'm going to blush now. <laughs> My heroes. Yeah. Do you want to ask me who my heroes are? <laughs> Certainly my mum and dad. My earliest memory that turned me onto science is, uh, is, uh, is quite interesting. I walked into the TV room and, and at that time it was brilliant sort of children's time, children's TV time. And there was a bit of, um, a, a, bit of a movie, it's like an animation where it was just kind of a, a jungle scene and then the, the, the sort of it began to began to zoom into things, and then all of a sudden you see this this um, person on a on a canoe. All of a sudden you see a mosquito on, on the on their arm, and it's kind of sucking blood out of this person. And then zoom in even more, go through the bath parts, go right in, and you can see the blood of the of the um, person sort of going up the mouth parts of this mosquito. And then they went even further, and I remember this like it was yesterday, and I have no idea why. But it made me kind of realise that actually, you know, there's more, th more to things than you can see. And, and I think that was the earliest memory, I think, thinking, actually, this is what science is, isn't it? This is really cool. When, uh, when I was at school, I um, had a terrible timetable and I had to choose between art and chemistry. I got good marks in chemistry. And it was a problem because I wanted to do art instead. Uh, but my parents said, no, 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 why, why are you doing art? It's, it's not going to get you a job, of course, like any self-respecting parent would say. That's what I would say to my children now. Uh, and so uh, after a lot of huffing and puffing, I actually came in and, and decided to do chemistry. But uh, I, I sort of, at that time, I said, well, I can come back to art. And that's exactly what I did. And, and, and that's what sort of gives me a lot of pleasure when I'm not at work. Um, I did a, a course at the slave school, a night course at the slave school, to learn about colour, colour and oil painting, and, and uh, I try and do as much as I can, but um, I'm still not very good, but I, I understand that you, we need to, I need to do about 10,000 hours um, to actually become good at something. Monet and, and, that, and the colours uh, that he produces are just mind-blowing. Um, but I like all sorts of art. I mean, um, my favourite abstract artist is Jackson Pollock, by far. Um, Who would be your dream subject? Oh, Christine Legrand. Actually, the boss of the IM IMS. She's brilliant. I don't know. Should I say, I've got a crush on her. <laughs> <laughs> that's a, that's a, a bit of an admission. But she, she, her face is just really great. The wrinkles and, and the sort of uh, the, the expressions that she has is brilliant. Yeah. Science is actually enormously like art. Being able to sort of have a, an idea um, in the morning and go in the lab and actually try it out is just um, you know a dream really. Um, it's a bit like cooking. For me, cooking is more artistic than, than sort of technical. But I think. Uh, I think it's becoming more and more important to understand how uh, sort of paintings and how things sort of uh, affect our emotional well-being. So if I was to choose three albums, I think I would choose albums that really were impressionable in my youth. Um, one of them is, uh, is Misplaced Childhood by Mar Marillion, because um, that just came out when I was in school, when I was in secondary school, it was just a um, wonderful album. Um, Kate Bush, How's Love? And probably Otis Redding, actually one of the sort of greatest hits for the platinum collections. But I like reading biographies, actually. Uh, my favourite book has got to be um, a Linus Pauling biography. I also read uh, several biographies on, um, on Einstein as well, and he's, he's got a really interesting life. Before he became, became really, really famous. started off my, um, my career as a biochemist, my first degree is in biochemistry. So I sort of defected to physical chemistry um, completely by accident because I decided to do my PhD for physical chemistry. But it's a bit difficult to es escape chemistry in our house because my wife is a chemistry teacher, you know, um, and so it's it's a bit of a fact of life. Um, I have done some experiments with the, with the boys when um, we have a battery, we do electrolysis and sort of and the hydrogen and oxygen, we sort of burn it and pop. Um, I'm hoping that our youngest son 
will be an artist because I want to live my um, my artist career through him. So that's totally separate. <laughs> my name is Darren Caruana, and I'm a reader at UCL. When the night has come And the land is dark And the moon is the only, only light we've seen